Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jay and today we will be continuing our adventure and tackling the very first gym. So let's get right on it. Alright, I just want to make sure that... Oh, not that. Just want to make sure that our Piplup is first. Yep, it is. And let's go ahead and tackle these trainers. It's always good to be back playing Pokemon. Pokemon was one of the very few games that I played consistently ever since I was in elementary school. And you know, I pretty much grew up with the Pokemon background, but by all means, I'm no Pokemon expert. I'm just a simple guy that enjoys playing the game. Alright, our little Mumble is absolutely sweeping this trainer's Dio dude. I don't think it's gonna be a problem for us to tackle um, Roark's uh, Craniodos. There's a second trainer. He's probably gonna send out another Geodude. Oh, maybe two Geodudes. Yeah, our Piplup should be able to take care of them, no problem. <clears throat> I usually, every time I play this, I would go in here with a Monferno and just sweep everyone with Mock Punch. But it seems like Piplup is doing pretty well too, despite the fact that it hasn't evolved yet. I always make sure that um, I evolve my starter Pokemon before tackling the first gym. Probably because, you know, Chimchar wouldn't fare very well against those rock types, but after having evolved and learning Mock Punch, um, you know, it gives us a super effective move to use against. Oh wow, the one shot of uh, that on it, that's, that's pretty dope. Alright, looks like our Mumble is gaining them levels. I don't think it's gonna evolve out in 14 though, I'm pretty sure that's only for Chimchar. Um, not sure when it'll evolve though. But yeah, let's go and take on the gym. Welcome, this is the Orberg Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. But I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see that toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Alright, so here we go. And here is our first gym battle. Very excited for this one. Alright, it looks like he has three Pokemon. Alright, the first one is going to be a Geodude. Our Piplup has a lot of practice defeating Geodude, so this one should be... Oh, wow, that's a level 12 Geodude. Damn, that thing's packing. But it is no problem for our Mumble. We're going to be sweeping his team, polishing those rocks, cleaning those rocks for you. We will not switch. Our Piplup is just gonna do the work. All right, size don't matter in this case. Spew that water gun. What? That Onyx is faster than my Piplup? No way. That's, that's a no way. So, okay. Oh, dude, that was so, oh, that's sturdy. If it wasn't for sturdy, we definitely would have been. Okay, yeah, you go use your potion, but I doubt that's gonna heal all of Onyx. Yeah, there we go. We're good. This Craney Dose is going to be uh, a little bit of a challenge. Um, I, yeah, his Craney Dose should be level 14. Now we will not be switching. We have absolute faith. Think we could take down the next Pokemon like that? I think we can. Ooh, wow, that is that was pretty cool. That animation. Alright, so it's a level 14 vs level 14. That headbutt is going to do massive damage. This Craney Dose is a heavy physical attacker. No way, not yet, not giving up. We ain't going to give up too, sis. Ooh, headbutt. Thank god there's no Zen headbutt. Oh, dude, that was cool. No, it flinched. Dude, no. Um... Dude, that sucks. Uh, maybe we could. No, I don't think using a potion is gonna work. We're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon. We'll go with Kaminari. 
Oh man, that was such a bummer. Pipple, why'd you flinch like that? I didn't even know you could flinch by using headbutt. Alright, let's lower its attack stat. Oh man. Okay, I'm pretty sure Kaminari is gonna be able to tank one more head. No, it knows bulldoze? Oh, this is not looking good. I've never had this much trouble. Okay, I think we're gonna have to sacrifice our Falco so that we could heal up our Piplup. Man, that is such a shame. Oh man. When do they use Stealth Rock? I don't remember them using Stealth Rock. All right. Man, I have never had this much trouble with uh, the first gym. Uh, honestly, I should have trained up my Pokemon just a little bit. But, you know, that's okay. You know, you learn and you grow. Man, I'll train up my Pokemon next time. Oh man, this sucks. Alright, well, now we know for a fact that we can't lose unless he miraculously gets a crit on us, but... He's not gonna get a crit. It should be fine. Alright, use Water Gun and put that Crane of out of its misery. And don't you dare flinch on me. Yes, sir. That should take care of that. Man, I just wish that my other Pokemon could get the XP too. That sucks, but that's okay. I'm gonna have to put in the work later. Wants to use Peck? Yes, we will learn Peck. Let's get rid of Growl because we never use Growl. Since this is a Pokemon game, all we really care about is, um, you know, the uh, attack type moves. What? That can't be my both of Pokemon. Honestly, you did pretty well. I, we have to use two potions. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Last story, you were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me. The gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Coal Badge. So we have obtained the Coal Badge. You have received the Coal Badge from Rourke. Having the Coal Badge means that you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poketch. You should take these too. Or we just obtained TM76. Stealth Rock, that will be a good move in the future. Alright, and we also obtained some, obtained some stickers. Alright. So thank you for that, we're gonna go heal up our Pokemon again. We've been going to the Pokemon Center quite often. Yeah, I really need to uh, train my Pokemon um, off screen just so that they don't take a beating like they did. Normally, I don't like to lose one Pokemon. I, I just want to, you know, absolutely sweep with whatever Pokemon I have. But, uh, seems like we weren't able to accomplish that this time around. But, that's okay. Alright, so now we should head to, um... Alright, let's grab that Pokeball first. Oh, okay. Alright, let's grab this Pokeball real quick. Oh, looks like there's some berries up there, but we will not be getting those today. Oh, wow, that was great. Um, actually, before we venture off, let's go to the Pokemart to grab a couple of repels. Um, I just don't want to be encountering any more unnecessary Pokemon, so we will grab... Oh, man, we can only get those. We'll grab, like, ten. I think that should be enough for today. 
And now we're gonna go and let's see. Let's go back to um, I believe it's Jubilife City. Dud. Whoops, Jay. Today you got gym badge, huh? Eterna City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? Yeah, so I went to Route 207, but you can't go through it without a bike. I made my team battle and turned them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilife City. Next stop, the Eterna Gym Badge. 10 seconds before I dash. 9. Bah, who's got time to count? Wow, Barry is... I mean, Elias is really in a rush. Uh, now nah, let's power through it, I believe. Yes! Alright, so the Eterna Gym has grass type Pokemon, so we probably would want to use our um, Starly for that. Our Falco is going to be putting in some work, and I believe you go up here? Alright, looks like Professor Rowan. Oh, gee, today, impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I can't stomach. Show them some manners if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with all your research findings. In return, we'll see that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. Jay, today, let's bow together and teach these losers a lesson. Alright. Looks like this is going to be our very first double battle. You are challenged by Team Galactic Runt. So they have a Zuban and a Caterpillar. Alright. Oh, look! We both have our uh, starter Pokemon um, up in front, so... Oh, that Chimchar did good going for that one pull. I just wish they would have used that for Zubat, but it's okay. It's alright. It's like Falco wants to use Double Team. No, we're not going to be using Double Team. That's fine. Mumble uses Pack, and of course it doesn't kill it in one shot. Use Supersonic. Good, it didn't go. Didn't use Supersonic on me. I would not want to damage my Chimchar. I'm um, not my Chimchar, my uh, Piplup. Because I just do not want to go back to Nurse Joy. You know, nothing wrong with that. It's just, I just don't want to take time to go back to the Poké Center. And the Zubat fainted. Looks like we have one Dezato. Alright. How much money are you going to give us? Dang, 1300 Okay, let's go. You leave us no option. We'll always cheat for now. Because Team Galactic is benevolent to all, we shall leave. Yeah, that's right. You better run. So, they call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Anyway, Jay, today, well done. You battled quite capably. Seeing you trainers side by, uh, battle side by side with your Pokemon only makes me more confident in my decision to entrust you with the Pokedex. Jay, today, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. I guess that means some Pokemon must undergo startling evolutions. So Jay, today, let's keep working on our Pokedex project for the professor. Will do. Will do. Who's this? Whoa, what was that just now? That was amazing. Those guys look awful scary, but you sure showed them. Phew, that was like a breath of fresh air. Anyway, my name is BB, or Bebe, and I work as a system administrator in Hearthrome City, east of here. Now, as thanks for putting on such a good show, I'll let you access Pokemon boxes from anywhere. I'll also give you these ball capsules to you. You got ball capsules! Now you can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. Okay, so it seems like we could customize our own Pokeballs. Um, I'm not going to be spending too much time on customization, to be honest. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Let's go get the Pokeball. Hopefully we won't run into any wild Pokemon. Okay, that's good. Now we have to do that once more. Oh, all oh, that for a paralysis heal. Come on. Oh, dang it.
let's not encounter any more Pokemon. Thank you. And looks like we have a battle. Alright, let's see what she has up in store. She only has one Pokemon. Bidoof. And that's fine. You are going to be sending out our Piplup. I'm gonna train Piplup as much as uh, I can so that when uh, our little Starly is getting some action at the second gym, its levels won't be so far behind. Defeated Lacera. Alright, can we battle this guy too? Yes, we can. We are ch ch we are challenged by youngster Tyler and Magic Car. What a catch! What a catch! Oh man, seeing that magic card makes me want a Gyarados, but I already have Piplup, so we can't really have another water type on our team. It's illegal. A Pokemon trainer should not have more than two of the same typing. Well, at least two of the same Pokemon typing. Alright, let's see what Ooh, a Starly. Okay, let's let our Kominari get some action. We haven't seen him in a while. We gotta make our team balance, you know? I do want my, uh, Mumbles to be the strongest Pokemon, but we can't let the other Pokemon fall behind in terms of levels. Alright, Thundershark is gonna be super effective. And that's that. Suck all that, Tyler. Alright, now we're gonna be continuing our way. Hopefully we won't... Oh! Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a potion real quick so we don't encounter any more unnecessary Pokemon. And... Yeah, it looks like we have another battle. Man, I feel like there are a lot more trainers here to battle than I realized. Like, it's been a while. It's been a hot minute. So we play Pokemon, but I don't remember if there being this many trainers. Maybe in the future I should uh, start skipping these trainer battles. Maybe I'll just like run through it quickly, um, just so that I can progress with the game. I don't know about that. Yeah, maybe. But for now, uh, we'll just keep on going. So let's. Yeah. Alright, yeah, he's not gonna be challenging us. Alright, we got this Pokeball. We won't be exploring the cave today. Let's just get as far as we possibly can. Oh, alright, so it looks like a lot of little Badoof is responsible for punching those rocks. And we're finally in Route 204. I'm just, you know what, I'm just gonna skip the trainer battles or... You know what, no, 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 I should not skip them. Uh, okay, let's say you, we're not gonna be battling him. Um, kinda wanna get my other... Oh, actually, no, they're pretty similar in terms of levels. And we got another trainer coming up. I'm gonna skip this one. She really had to poison my mumble like that. Uh, and now we're gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center. Yes, we would like to use another repel. And let's battle this guy. Alright, take care of that, and we have a double battle. Yeah, let's just 
get right into it. What? People are evolving. Hey, yo, I did not expect them to evolve that fast. Wait, what level is he? Is he like 16? That it evolved by 18. But yeah, our little Rumble is evolving into a bigger guy. Congratulations, your Mumble evolved into a print block. Nice. Oh, that is our beauty. That is our first evolution. He wants to learn Metal Claw. Yes, we will absolutely forget a move for Metal Claw. Let's get rid of Charm. We don't want any Soy Boy types. Alright, and ta-da! We forgot Charm and learn Metal Claw instead. That is... Oh my god! Are Starlies also evolving? Oh shit, oh my god. <laughs> I kind of forgot what level they were at the moment, but uh, yeah, I certainly did not expect this. That's fantastic. Look at that. Congratulations, your Funko evolved into Star Ravia. Any new moves? Maybe Brave Bird? Nope, okay. Okay, our Shanks is just not gonna evolve. Alright, no, that's fine. Alright, looks like we got two of our members to evolve. That is fantastic. Alright, let's head up here and we have made it to Flor uh, Floroma Town. Uh, we will not be using it this one, but this is where we are going to end our journey this time around. Um, thank you so much for watching and next video we will do whatever it is next. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.